wheel it up. I mean, I look rough today. I guess I look rough every day, actually. What is up, everybody? My name is Jonathan, and I'm excited to be back with you guys. I apologize that my upload schedule has been a little bit sporadic. I'm hoping here moving into the future, there will be a little bit more consistency. And so hopefully that's the case moving forward. So in today's video, we'll be talking about a couple things. First and foremost, how the R5's firmware update is finally here. Um, how people have been trying to hack the R5 in order to increase record times, which is very interesting. And last but not least, how the R5 can never take the place of a cinema camera. And so make sure to stay tuned for all of that in this video. So first and foremost, let's talk about the Canon R5's firmware update. Um, so a lot of people have been pleasantly surprised by the extended record times uh, and whatnot. And Petapixels had stated that the temperature detection and shooting time has improved. Overheating warning in AK is now 20 minutes and 21 seconds and shutdown is at 24 minutes and 53 seconds. So you get about five to six more minutes, which is a lot better than what you had. And so that will give you some time to set up and get recording, which a lot of people, that's the reason why they really didn't like it. Because by the time you got set up, um, the camera was already keep preparing to shut down. And so cool times have improved as well. Apparently 30 minute cooldown gives you 10 minutes now, and an hour cooldown gives you approximately 15 minutes. So that's a lot better than the five less extra minutes that you got within those cooldown times. And then they also had stated that there has been an improvement with the in-body stabilization as well, that it's a little bit smoother and whatnot. So all good things coming out of this firmware update. Uh, but I think there will still be a lot of people who are upset because they don't get everything that they wanted. I think a lot of people were looking for like <laughs> 10 minutes of extended record time, which is basically impossible for this mirrorless camera. So a lot of people have also been doing hacks, uh, which is with the battery door sensor. They've been sticking rice in there. They've been sticking toothpicks and, and taping it shut. Please don't do this, people. Like, I, I know a lot of people have been doing this, and all you have to do is right before that the camera overheats, they would take the battery out, shove it back in, and the sensor would not know that all this happened because you have blocked it. And so therefore, you're causing a lot of issues for yourself. Um, this camera can do a lot of things, but I think a lot of people are gonna be upset if the sensor melts because of this stupidity, please. I don't think there's a warrant, uh, warranty for stupidity, so don't do this. I would highly recommend that just, just be happy with the camera. This is a $4,000 camera. Please don't do something stupid and break it because it won't be covered by that. So I have a couple thoughts of why Canon has limited people in record times, and so I'm gonna make this very brief. There are two reasons, I believe, two schools of thought out there. First and foremost, they don't want you to damage the sensor. Um, we know when the camera gets way too hot, it can actually melt the sensor. And so maybe they were a little bit more cautious than what they need to be, but they don't want you to waste $4,000 on a camera that's gonna break within a month. And so the second school of thought is that maybe because the cinema camera, their cinema line is at around 10 grand, they didn't wanna create a camera that was able to do that half the price which makes a lot of sense. Like there's a lot of things that my cinema camera uh, does very well and I'm very happy with it. And so I feel like the quality of what you get uh, is all, always dependent on the price. So I can understand them not wanting to sacrifice their cinema line for a mirrorless camera. So last but not least, and this is just gonna be a short ramble. Um, you know, you always have to think there's, a mirrorless camera is a mirrorless camera for a reason. It's not a cinema camera, and it will never be a, uh, a cinema camera. No matter if you have a Sony, no matter if you have the R5, there's things that a cinema camera can do that a mirrorless camera or a DSLR camera cannot. And I'm fairly happy with my RED. Like, I use my RED on bigger shoots and stuff like that. A lot of people, I you know, commented down below, well, you can't use the R5 for bigger productions. I know that, that's why I have a cinema camera. And so I have a RED and it does fantastic. But a lot of people have been like saying, well, I'm gonna replace this. And I think that was kind of my mentality. I'd be lying 
if that if if I would say that wasn't true, um, getting the R5 because I was like I can just I can simple simplify things. I can sell things, recoup some money, and be happy. But there's things that a cinema camera can do that the mirrorless cameras cannot. And one of the biggest things, and I'm going to keep this brief, is dynamic range. Um, a lot of people don't understand the importance of dynamic range and stuff like that. It allows you to keep all the shadows and all the detail in a photo and never allow uh, in video, and it allow, never allows it to blow out. So in summation, what am I trying to say? Don't go and sell all your gear and expect this camera to be the end all to end all. Like this, you know, the R5 is going to be my main camera for life. You know, 8K all the way i made that up by the way you can have it but i mean there's a lot of things that a cinema camera can do that mirrorless cameras cannot and mirrorless cameras are fairly limited in what they can do and it's surprising what they can do nowadays but please do not sell all your gear i made the mistakes of uh, selling my 1dx mark iii so i regret that entirely but i'm pretty happy with my eos r um, because it primarily does everything that I needed to do in terms of YouTube. And so that's just my encouragement to you. Uh, there's going to be more videos like this coming up, more gear reviews and whatnot. And also I'm going to be doing more cinematic clips with my red so that you guys can see the difference between a mirrorless and a cinema camera. And so I, I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to comment down below. I love connecting with people and I love talking with people. And maybe you disagree with me on certain topics and that's fine. I know that not everybody's going to agree, but then I get to hear your side of things. So make sure to do that as well and hit the bell for notifications for upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.